Hello everybody, thank you for joining me, it's Poet WP. I am here to share with you some poems, or I'm sorry, a poem. It is copyrighted under my pseudonym, my pen name, Gabriel Samadhi. Um, I've been writing a whole lot. I'm in an intensive period of activation, you could say. Things have, uh, a lot of inspiration going on. And, uh... Writing two or three pieces a day, which is a lot for me. And this one I wrote a couple, two or three days ago. It's a mystical poem. It's my focus in my life right now is transcendence and spiritual growth. I mean, it always has been, but right now it's like, really been amplified. I forgot to name this one. I'm not good with names. I'll have to I'll I'll make one in the in the uh when I post it. The moment you realize all you lost was still there all along. It only changed form. <clears throat> form is a deceptive trickster. It leads us by our senses, but not by our spirit, by the spirit, not by the spirit. The spirit is that of formlessness, boundlessness. What is infinite takes all kinds of forms, then continuously passes them along as the seasons pass yet always reoccur. Form is a wilting flower. The world grounds us in form as the flower takes roots. The flower, in its stillness, gives off beauty. The perfume of the flower is a manifestation of the flower's being, existing in beauty. When you awaken, awe, the mind is opened. When you invoke compassion, the spirit is cleansed. You will live however many human lives as you need to master this. As you need to, to master this. But like the video game Super Mario Brothers... You can, if you have the humility and wisdom, find the warp zone, so to speak. <laughs> One's own karma can be transcended. You have, you have to reprogram your ways of thinking at the root level of how your very thought patterns are formed. You establish these ways of ego-based judgment based largely on lower negative vibrations levels, so to speak. Eliminate all that is based in fear, anger, and ignorance. Seek to tap into your higher self, the oversoul consciousness, that we are all a part of. Each one of us a refracted spectrum of the soul of the Creator. Seek your intuition and discover your true powers of discernment, spiritual discernment, intellectual discernment. The judgments you form in your mind will determine your fate. Be sure you do not mistake the true for false and the false for true. Most of you will and have already fell into this trap in life in all sorts of ways. We must follow the path that preserves all life and causes the least amount of suffering. Thank you for uh, joining me. And uh, like, share, and subscribe if you are so inclined. I appreciate it greatly.
I'll be, uh, I'll try to post at least one poem a day, and if I miss a day, I'll try to post two the next, you know. And I also post, uh, various, po um, videos about theory and politics and whatever might be on my mind. I'm kind of a news junkie, but, you know. That can be bad for your health. Anyway, I'll get off here before I start rambling. And I'll catch you on the next one. Be compassionate. Be truthful. And always take a stand for the little guy. Or little woman. Little person. <laughs> Damn dualities. Okay, catch you on the next one.